Flushing ice cubes down the toilet, slipping with your PJs inside out, and putting a white crayon under the window are all the ways that students hope to hear the best two words, snow day. These anticipated days demonstrate the randomness of Michigan weather itself. We beg superintendents to call for the slippery roads, inches of snow, or extreme cold. But do students really know the process behind the deciding of the snow days? I think he called Bloomfield and be like, hey y'all, y'all got school tomorrow? Nah, me either. What you think? Uh, I think he wakes up, he looks outside, and if he thinks like he can make it out the house, everybody else can make it out the house. No. I feel like he just know. wake up and be like, <laughs> Let me look outside and see what's going on today, and yeah. There is state regulations for weather, you know, below uh, a certain degree below zero. Don't quote me on this, although you are. Uh, <laughs> is uh, 30 below, I think, you can't have school at 30 below, I think, state regulation. There's a regulation, I'm not sure of it, but there is a regulation. Regardless of how snow days are truly decided, students love the extra time it gives them. Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> sleep. I pretty much sleep yeah. all day. I'll sleep to about one. Then Maybe I wake two. up, eat, go back to sleep. I usually sleep for a really, really long time. Then I wake up, watch a show, and go back to sleep. Yeah, I wake up at like 12 in the afternoon, eat, then I go back to sleep. This is Lindsay Hazelton reporting for Laker Update.